The Bahamas Unified Bus Drivers Union says it's prepared to strike if their demands aren't met by the government. Today, bus drivers expressed their outrage at not having a number of industry needs met, including proper restroom facilities, shelters for passengers on bus routes, or properly marked stop routes. The bus drivers said that this has led to multiple incidents with law enforcement causing them to often pay fines of up to $250. Union President Frederick Farrington says bus drivers will cease payment of these fines until the government can negotiate their terms. I demand no bus drivers to pay any set of revenues to the public price if these amenities is not in place. We were silent for too long. Enough is enough. Within a matter of weeks, if these issues, these stemming issues don't be addressed, the union is going to take our last measure, but we don't want to take, but we're going to strike. Now, Farrington added that despite the funds bus drivers contribute to the public treasury, they have not seen a pay raise nor an investment tra in transportation systems. Farrington says bus drivers are prepared to strike come July 1st. Within the treasury, not one red penny is coming back within the industry. Of the taxi drivers, how to increase in their rate zones, their hourly zones, and their fees. And today, bus drivers have not had any increase. Passengers still pay the dollar twenty-five if they choose to pay the twenty-five cents. Now, if you look around us, everything is going up. Twelve percent what? Everything except corn beef. I might add. We're calling once again on the prime minister to address the bus drivers on this. Issues. Now, ZNS News spoke with road traffic controller Bradley Sands today about the bus driver's concerns. He confirmed that he's met with the bus driver's union to discuss their issues, seeking to have them rectified. Controller Sands contends that these concerns can't be fixed overnight, as they've been a problem for bus drivers for decades now.